Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! We've got a lot of shopping to do here. This is like the center of trade for the Pure Land, so we've got a lot of stuff to get. I don't even have all the money to get everything. I've already bought everything off screen, so I'm just going to show you what I've got here. So you're just going to have to remember to shop smart here, viewers. Shop S-Smart. Judo. I'm going to learn Judo. That's right, viewers. Uh, it's the best martial arts move that you can learn for your beast right now, or, well, buy for them. The rest of the weapons I really don't care about. I don't care about any of the remaining weapons they got here. So, yeah, gave that to my beast there. That's going to be really awesome for him. I mean, he's just taking off far and beyond what a human could do at this point in the game. So, that's pretty amazing there. By the way, this, like, column of shops, I guess you call them, uh, you can only, if you enter one, you enter, like, the center of trade for that kind of equipment there. Like, this is the armor area. There's some mirror equipment that I'm going to want to get here eventually, but not right now. We're going to pass on that for now. I do want to get a whole bunch of scarves, though. Get four of those for everyone. The nice thing about scarf, because I've equipped it on everyone there, it gives you protection from stone, because apparently getting stoned is a lot more hip in Pure Land than it was back in our dimension. So you want to make sure you have that here. I got rid of the plumes, because not as many enemies are putting us to sleep anymore, or paralysis for that matter. So we'll get rid of the earrings eventually, too. Let's see here. This is all the stuff from the previous town, so we don't need to worry about that. This is the one I was looking for. Okay, now since I have a limited amount of money, basically what I did was I got a diamond gloves and a Hakati boots for my cyborg there to boost his agility as much as possible. Uh, let's see, diamond armor is better, mirror helmets are probably better, but you know, I'm not, I'm really short on gold, so let's just leave that alone for now. Let's equip uh, the, the new stuff on Curtis there. Now the diamond gloves will boost his agility. Now between the Geta shoes, and the Hakata boots, yeah, it'll boost his defense, which is why I'm getting it, but it lowered his agility by two. So it's not as good on the agility side, but it's such a small amount. I figure going for the defense is better. That's just my opinion, but you can do whatever you want with that. So yeah, I figured, you know, if I'm going to buy, if I have limited money and I'm going to buy some amount of equipment, I might as well get it for Curtis because he's so much more dependent on it. Than everyone else. Let's see. I was. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, I got a couple of elixirs while I was here. You can buy them from this shopkeeper. I'm sure they've got plenty of other items that we've already seen there. But yeah, I just wish they made the uh, curative items or the status healing items better in this game. I don't know. Okay, now while I was here, I got the cure a spell. What that does is it's uh, cure one on everyone. So 30 percent of your max HP, it heals. So that's pretty nice. I don't care for the rest of the spells there. I never really use them. That's probably the stuff from the previous town there. Now between weak and lightning two, I only got weak for Gloria there. The reason I didn't get lightning two is because it's ice and tornado elemental. But we've already got ice two and weak will pretty much do the same amount of damage anyway. So I figured, why bother? Now, earlier in the game, when I got Lit 1, the only reason why I bought that was because it was more power. Its, its base power was greater than any other spell I had at the time. Whereas Lightning 2 has the same power as Weak, which is Tornado Elemental. So, I really don't care for Lightning 2. That's just me. But there are going to be some Lightning spells that I am interested in later in the game. Yeah, I mean, this is like the center of trade or center of commerce. I like when they do that in games like this, when they have like a center of commerce area for, you know, all, well, not maybe not the best stuff, but, you know, like everyone converges in an area, you know, it just seems to have more of a, a social atmosphere to the place, you know? Oh, okay. How do you know that? Huh. Well, yeah, we can't go over there yet. Oh, and also, if you noti didn't notice, I upgraded Curtis to a better cyborg off screen, just whatever cyborg parts I found, doesn't matter because I want to get his agility up to about 90 for the next boss fight. That'll be really important, because the next boss is really fast, and you need to be able to be, well, faster in order to heal from it, because it's, well, it's not the hardest one, but it's up there. Oh, okay, well, maybe we ought to uh, check that place out. 
How will we know it's Cape Frost? Yeah, we already heard about that guy. Yeah, maybe it's Frosty there. I don't know. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. I have some gold left over, but, you know, that's all I'm normally able to buy. I've got quite a bit more gold than I usually do at this point, but that's okay. And I'll list my shopping list in the setup uh, in the video description there, so you can see what I got there, or if you want to watch it off screen, or whatever you want to do. Ah, uh, Talon music. Hard to beat. I'm calling it Talon music, not Floatland or Pureland music. There's Mount Hassid, but let's check out some other areas first. We could also go over there, but we couldn't make it through anyway. Hmm, I wonder if this is Cape Frost. It's got that same ice feature that they have in the Dragon Warrior games. Why am I making so many Dragon Warrior references lately? Huh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should find that for him. Kind of looks like a red mage up there. Oh, so he's the guy who can make the lost magic. All right. Can you help us out? Yeah, I mean, let's go. We got your home. Don't you want to go to your home? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, the monsters worship the masters as masters, I guess. I suppose that would make sense. But, yeah, we uh, we can't go through the, the ruins, the, the southwest ruins. Yeah, we got to go through Mount Hassett first. So let's head on over there, then. This area is pretty straightforward. Got a nice little waterfall effect there, I guess. That's always nice. Nice they handle the details there. And we got some new enemies, a terrorist. I don't know what a terrorist is, but we'll take him out. Not really worried about Curtis there. Oh, I don't even have to spell anymore. Crap. Uh, well, oh, wait, hold on. Judo over there. Stone there. Quake, terrorists are weak to Quake, so there you are. But yeah, the reason I wanted uh, Arthur to attack one of the tor or Cyclones there is because Sharon's drop is Tornado Elemental. Well, that wouldn't work too well. So there you are. What is that thing that those guys got on their back there anyway? Is that like a, a proton pack or something? Or oh, what is that? A radio? I don't, are you going to cast uh, Quake anytime soon, Gloria, or did I just totally miss it? Oh, come on, Gloria. There we go. Wow, is she slow. And she's behind on stats, but, you know, that's what you get out of mutants, you know? You get, you know, really powerful spells, but not so good on the stats. So, you take what you can get. I don't take the monster meat, that's for sure. And we got some other new enemies here. 75 millimeter. Uh, I don't know what that means. You got me on that one, viewers. But they are weak to Quake, so let's take them out. So yeah, uh, uh, just to elaborate on what I was saying with Curtis there, with upgrading him, uh, basically any level 21 cyborg with the best gloves and boots around, you'll have enough agility to basically... Uh, what is it? You'll have enough agility to outpace the boss, so that's why. Level 21 is the critical level. We got another new enemy there. Uh, what is that? Keeper. They are... I think they're weak to Quake. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, uh, well, we'll find out. Everyone here is weak to Quake. By the way, just so you know, in the Pure Land, uh, especially from here on out, for, mo for the most part, uh, most enemies, if they have an elemental weakness, it's either Quake or Thunder. And that's pretty much it for the most part. So I'm going to be making some of my decisions based on that. Wow, look at that damage with that Judo, man. It's amazing. So yeah, Quake Elemental spells are good. Ice. Ice is a little weak, actually. Um, so yeah, I mean, either Tornado or Thunder. For right now, I like weak. Quake is good too, though. There's some better stuff as we go along. Light Crystal. All right. Little scarce at this point. Yeah, you can walk across this part. That kind of confused me at first. The path up there is a dead end. Yeah, they don't tell you like where you can walk over stuff or not. Oh well. 
and in this chest we get a cool relic, I guess, or accessory, whatever. It protects you from fire. One of the two items that you can find in the game that can do that. So can we find the captain of the town around here? Or is he too busy to help us out? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.